When you open the Pivot Pal window, the cursor is automatically placed in the search box for you. So you can quickly start typing a search to find a field that you want to add to the pivot table. So as I start typing region here in the uh, search box, you'll notice that the results are narrowed down as I type. You can see this list of results here. All these results contain the term or the letters RE in in one of the field names here so i want to type region that'll continue to narrow it down and then you can use the up and down arrows on the keyboard to find the uh, field that you're looking for and when you hit enter that'll select the field in the field list down here and then you can place it in one of your areas by using keyboard shortcut or one of the buttons but you actually don't have to select you don't have to press enter to select the field first so let me show you how that works i'm going to quickly clear out this pivot table i'm just going to select all the fields hit the x and i'm going to rebuild it real quickly so i had salesperson in rows and if i just basically uh, press the down arrow to then select that field in the search box there and hit alt r on the keyboard that'll put it in rows area without having to press the enter key to select it i had quarters on columns so again i'm going to select it there alt c and then I had revenue in the values area, select it, Alt V, and that'll quickly add some of revenue to my values area. And of course, the number is formatted uh, because PivotPal detects the source formatting. So the search box, along with keyboard shortcuts, make it extremely fast to build out your pivot tables. You can also use the search box to select multiple fields by uh, holding down the shift key and hitting enter when you select a field. So for example, if I wanted to add a few name fields here, I'm going to find customer name, hit the enter key, that'll select it down in the field list below. And now let's say I want to put my state, uh, I want to select state as well. So I'm going to basically hold down the shift key and then press enter. So that'll have customer name and state selected. So it basically holds your selection for you. And maybe I also want that address in there. So shift enter. Now I have all three of those selected and I could use a keyboard shortcut or one of these buttons to then put all three of those on rows there.